Welcome back. Will Worsham is joining me now for this week's Speaking Legal segment. Welcome back, Will. Good to see you again. Thanks, Tom. Now, you, 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 you have a question. I mean, we have a question here from yes. one of our viewers. Here it is, all right? I live in town, and there are privacy fences around my home and my neighbor's home. One length of the fence runs down the middle of our properties, separating them. I really do not like the fence, and I'm considering removing it. However, the neighbors have a dog that they have to keep inside a fenced area. The fence needs repair, you know, be repaired or replaced. Do I have to cover half the cost for the part that runs down the middle of our properties? Sounds simple. Right? I have a feeling it's not because you smiled when yeah. you saw it. <laughs> you know, fencing law is actually very complicated. Oh, uh, right. it's, it's actually really a complicated topic. There's a gen what's called the general fence law mm -hmm. in Missouri, and then there's what's called the local option that local municipalities or counties can adopt. Now, nobody really in southwest Missouri has really adopted that. So the general option is what is going to kind of control here. Okay. Now, first of all, if they're in a housing development or a subdivision, there could be a housing association rule right. that could govern this. And we don't have the information from the question, but that okay. would be the first place Let's to look. Let's just go with a neighborhood and you both put up the fence. Right. Well, whether it applies to a fence in a neighborhood or a fence kind of out in the country, uh -huh. honestly, the way that you deal with who maintains a fence is you and your neighbor meet in the middle of the fence and you look each other in the eyeball and everybody looks to the right and you're responsible for the upkeep and repair of the portion of the fence that is to your right. That, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. That's legal? That's the law. Really? Yeah, that's really the so law. So you meet in the middle, you, you look right. You thought I was kidding, didn't I you? Did. I did. No. Really, I really said, yeah, sure, pull the other. That's it. You meet in the middle, you look to the right, that's the part you're responsible yeah, for. Yeah, that's the part you're responsible for, is keep upkeeping that part of the fence. What if you decide you want to tear down part well, of that now, middle fence? Obviously, that fence belongs to the neighbor as well, so you have to some, come to some sort of agreement uh -huh. as to how that is. And, you know, they own that fence too, so just unilaterally tearing the fence down, if it's really on the property line and belongs to both of you, is something that you really can't do because uh -huh. it belongs to your neighbor as well. This is getting really confusing. Well, it, it is kind of confusing. And the, hey, you know what the best thing to do here is? Huh. Talk to your neighbor. Talk to your neighbor. Talk, <laughs> yeah. Instead of going immediately into, legally, what can I do? Exactly. Talk it over. Try to work something out. Absolutely. Okay, now we're talking about neighbors here. Sure. What kind of things are out there mm. for, I mean, you know, people have neighbors who may have dogs that bark all the time. They may play loud music, party, the trees that hang over your... Yes. How do you deal with neighbors in those kinds of situations? Yeah, now I've, you know, I serve as a municipal judge for a yes. couple of towns, and I've served as city attorney, which is a city prosecutor for towns. I was a Greene County prosecutor for a while. Yep. So, and, and I'm a defense attorney now. So you know all of this uh, stuff. I've been on all sides of the table. Uh -huh. And, you know, especially in a municipal, municipal situation as a municipal attorney, we get all the time people complaining, you know, you need to do something about my neighbor. Their dogs are too loud. Right. All of this stuff. And honestly, we can. There are noise ordinances mm -hmm. that can be enforced. There are dog at large ordinances that can be enforced. Yeah. Uh, but you really get into that situation where you've got to live next to this person. And if you're always calling the cops on yeah. your neighbor, then they're going to start calling the cops on you. And yeah, you can nobody's get, perfect. You get these. into these big neighborhood feuds. Yeah. Now, the, some things certainly rise to the level that you want to involve the authorities and you want to involve that. There are nuisance ordinances and everything. But the best advice, get along. Get along. Talk it out. Talk it out. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much. Of course, You're welcome. W. Worsham at Color10.com if you have a question. We'll be back with more Ozarks Live after this.